Hello stamping friends, it's Angie here with Too Cool Stamping and I have a really special class for us today. Now typically I do card projects, that's kind of my go-to thing, but I do really like to make treat holders as well. And with Valentine's Day coming up, I thought it'd be a great time to show you just a few ideas that you can use. And you may have read my blog post yesterday. I've been having so much fun with the Berry Blessings uh, celebration stamp set. It's a stamp set and combination with the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. We did a class last week all about that. We had some really pretty cards that we did. And you can still get this five card kit for placing a $35 order with the host code that I have uh, on my blog. It's uh, and I'll show you that when we turn the camera around. But these are the five cards that you'll be making with that class kit. The really cool part of the offer is if you spend $100 for your order, you're going to get not only the live five card class kit, but also a 25 card project tutorial. That's gonna include all of the step-by-step -step instructions to make those five cards that we did in class, plus 20 additional card ideas and they'll be all featuring the Berry Blessing stamp set, the Berry Delightful designer series paper combo, the sweet strawberry bundle, all of those things coordinate together and it really is an awesome value. And remember when you have that $100 order, you're going to be able to select the Berry Blessings and Berry Delightful combo as a celebration gift for free. So that's why I gave you that, that price point. That way you can get that and you'll be all ready to go for all of these awesome project ideas. So this week I wanted to kind of extend that offer. So we have until February 10th now that you can be earning that. And I wanted to show you some additional ideas since you're going to be earning that awesome combo and probably purchasing the sweet strawberry bundle as well. I wanted to give you some other ideas in the form of these treat holders. So that's what we're going to work on today. I hope you guys really love it. I love doing something a little bit different and I'm just really loving this very delightful paper especially. So we're going to be working on that. Um, just a reminder, we're still in the middle of celebration. It's our second month and the final month of celebration. So don't forget for every $50 that you spend, you can choose a, a celebration selection from the flyer, or if you have a $100 order, you can. there's two different items, that Berry Blessing combo and another stamp set that you can choose for free. So a couple different ways that you can take advantage of that offer. Also, we have that really awesome starter kit promotion going on right now. When you purchase that $99 starter kit, you'll be able to select $125 worth of products of your choice, that's the normal kit. You'll get free shipping on that and you'll be able to enjoy a 20% discount on all your future orders. During celebration, you'll also get five, five designer series paper packs. Um, they're, they're six by six and they feature uh, papers in all the different color families. So you guys are gonna love it. It's um, new patterns of paper that are going to be in the upcoming annual catalog coming out in May. All right, we have a lot to get to, so let me flip the camera around. Thank you so much for joining me. I see there's lots of people jumping on here. Thank you. Hold on, we're gonna do a little roller coaster ride. Hate this part. <laughs> all right. And we'll get us all ready to go here. Sorry, get my hand in the way. There we go, and turn some more light on. So if you are wanting to earn that Berry Blessings five card kit that I was mentioning, you just need to place an order, $35, for uh, with this host code, 3HUB23MD. And again, you'll get all of the parts and pieces to make these beautiful cards. If you wanna see them up close, you can check out my live class from last week. Um, you can either find it here on Facebook if that's where you're at, or if you're on YouTube, you can just check my YouTube channel and find that there as well. Let's really quick just go over some of the awesome products that we're using today. The Berry Blessings 
I'm putting my hair up real quick because I can't, my hair falls in my face and I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, first of all, the Berry Blessing stamp set and the Berry Delightful, I love this paper. These come together in that special combo that you can get for free with a $100 order during celebration only. And these papers are absolutely, positively gorgeous. So we'll be using those today on our projects for sure. And then in the mini catalog, you can also get the coordinating sweet strawberry bundle, which comes with this really cute stamp set and a punch that goes with it, the strawberry builder punch, that you can punch out the strawberry and flower and stem and leaves to make it really easy to make your projects. So we're gonna be using that today as well. All right. Let's get to it. This is so much fun. I love doing something just a little bit different than we normally do. Let me line this up a little better so we can get everything in the picture. All right, first of all, um, and I would highly recommend for these projects, I'm gonna give you measurements and then you can go to my blog later on um, today and later on this week and I'll have uh, all the measurements and everything there. That's twocoolstamping.com. And um, I highly recommend that you have a simply scored tool or, um, and or a paper trimmer to put these together. You're also going to need some really strong adhesive and I encourage you to get the Seal Plus. So normally we'd be using Seal and I love this for our everyday use, but the Seal Plus is actually going to be really secure for 3D projects like the ones we're gonna be working on today. All right, so our first project we're gonna make a little slider box and it is it's so ding dang cute I can't even tell you <laughs> you're gonna see in a minute all right so let's give you the measurements here we have this is a four by five and a half piece of garden green cardstock we're gonna score that down the five and a half side at three quarter at two and three eighths, at one and an eighth, I'm sorry, three, three and an eighth, <laughs> and then also four and three quarter. Okay, so three quarter, two and three eighths, one and an eighth, and four and three quarter. And we'll just fold these up. This is going to be the outside of our box, a little slider that goes over the top and we'll decorate that in a minute so we'll set this aside next we're going to create the bottom of the box this is going to be a five and a half by three inch piece and you're going to score it at um, it's at three quarter all the way around so if you want to um, put the measurements down it's three quarter and four and three quarter on the long side and then three quarter and two and a quarter on the shorter side. And we're gonna take our bone folder and crease those nicely all the way around as well. This is a, a really cute box that I found on Jeannie Stark's website. It's just Stampin' and I just had to make it because it's so, It first of all, it had to do with the strawberry, uh, sweet strawberry bundle and second of all, it's just, the candy that goes inside is so cute, I just had to do it. So I modified it just a little bit from hers, but it's very, very close to hers. So thank you, Jeannie, for that awesome idea. All right, so I'm gonna cut up the sides to make these little flaps, and I'm gonna just cut a little notch out. That's just gonna help it fold a little bit better together. So do you see how I did that? Just a little wedge out of each side. And I like to use my paper snips because they cut right down to the tip. Very, very sharp. And if you don't have any, you need to get some because they are the most awesome scissors. We're flipping it around and doing it on the same, same thing on the other side. All right, little wedge on that too. Okay, so we have this as our bottom of the box. I'm going to flip this over and we're going to use some of that Seal Plus and you'll know, whoa, that's like actually so strong it's taking the paper up so you have to be kind of careful about that part. Let's see if we can, whoops, it's going to not work on me today. It's so strong. 
Ugh, I've not had this much problem with it before. Let's see. Let me roll some of it off a little bit. Okay, we're gonna try it again. Here we go. I don't know why it was having a hang up, but we'll see if we can, now that I have the paper torn, it's not gonna to wanna to do it. It's gonna pull, keep pulling it up. I made like so many boxes for my team members the other day and I did not have this problem one time. It just happens when, you're, when you go live for a class, I guess, I don't know. There we go, it's a little bit better. All right, so we're putting it just on the tabs on the outside there, and then we're gonna bring those in and finish up this box. So if you are part of my Too Cool team, this is your little table gift that you're getting this Monday or um, in your make and take kits. So you will love that. Okay, so there's our little bottom of our box, cute. And then we're gonna also add some adhesive to one of these tabs. And again, you wanna do it on the outside tab. And then this will come around. And I wanted to point out, can you, I don't know if you, can you see the little lines in the Stampin' Seal? I love that because it's super, super strong, but it's kind of has these little panels, like it's, um, I don't know, little segregated little pieces so that it breaks apart. Um, if you're used to what we used to have, the Fast Fuse, it was a really strong adhesive, but it was, um, sometimes you go to, to pull it away and it was would, it like mozzarella and it would string off of there, but this breaks really easily because there's little, um, perforations, I guess is the, the word I'm trying to find. So this will go together like this. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's decorate. We're using the Berry Delightful paper. And I'll give you a measurement on the paper is uh, three and seven eighths by one and a half. And we're gonna put that right on the top here. Then I have some side pieces and these are just three and seven eighths by half, or no, I think it's uh, five eighths, just a little more than a half. I'm gonna put these right here on the sides. And we'll flip that over, put another one. I'm having a heck of a time with my adhesives today for some reason. I can make 4,000 of these little boxes and never have a problem and then get on the camera. All right, so that's a real cute, quick way to decorate that. Now we have, let's add a little sentiment. I already have a basic white uh, or, uh, ornate frames die cut here. I'm gonna bring my piercing mat over so I have something kind of cushy to stamp on and I'm going to stamp a Berry Blessings sentiment right on there. Wishing you the very best. We'll use some more seal and add that to the top of the box. And you'll see if you're gonna make a bunch of these, they really come together very, very quickly. And then we're gonna make a little decoration with the Sweet Strawberry stamp set. So we're gonna use Poppy Parade. And remember when you're stamping, you want to keep in mind the orientation of your punch. So the strawberry is upside down, so we're gonna think about that when we stamp it. So I'm gonna actually stamp it close to the top here so that it will be easy to access in my punch. And then, so I stamp the outline and then the filler over the top in a two-step motion there. 
and we'll punch that out. So there's our little strawberry. Then we need our stem. And again, you want to look at the positioning on your, uh, on your punch to make sure you're punching in the right, um, getting close to the right edge, I guess. So my stem needs to go to the left and I'm just gonna put it right here on the corner. Punch or do stamp your outline first. And you can see a little tip that I have. I like to pair up my stamps so that one of the two stamp images on, is on one side and then I just flip it over and the other one's on the other side. So I keep them together so it's nice and fast when I need to stamp both of those images. So we'll just punch that out. And we have a cute little stem, or yeah, stem that goes on there. Let's just add that with a glue dot, a couple glue dots. Put that right on top, so sweet. Okay, next we're going to Add that with some dimensionals to our box. And there we go. Let's add a little sparkle, you know we need to. Oh, did I not bring them over? Let me show you. I didn't bring them over, but um, I added just a little champagne rhinestone to the top for a little sparkle. And then here's the part that I really love. What are you gonna fill that with? Well, we're gonna fill it with some cute little, hold on a second, I gotta find them here. These cute little Hershey's hearts and their strawberry filled goes with the strawberry theme. And then I stamped the stems onto some granny apple green, and then I added them to the top of my heart. So they look like little strawberries. Oh my gosh, so adorable. So you can just put three of those in there. This is why I had to make this box. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? I just love that so much. So you have cute little hearts that may, are made into strawberries. They're strawberry filled. It all goes with the theme. So super cute. So this could be something that you could give away for Valentine's. You could give away for, you know, depending on what sentiment you do, you could have an appreciation gift. It could be a table gift at a party, a shower. Um, just giving it to someone that you care about that you don't get to see very much. So I absolutely love that. Now I did a too cool version, and this time I just used those hearts plain in the box because I made it into a little Valentine's box. This uses the True Love Designer Series paper. I have the stripes on the side here, and then a dark pattern on the, on the top, and then I stamped with, and did die cutting with the uh, Forever and Always bundle. I absolutely love these die cuts. You die cut the love with real red and then there's also an outline die cut so that you can layer those and really make that word pop. So I just added that, the word to the background with some Tombow liquid glue. And then I don't know if you can see the sparkle but I actually went over the whole word with some Wink of Stella and made it really have some shimmer and pop. And then the words are also from the Forever and Always stamp set. I punched, uh, or I die cut this little heart with the mini hearts dies that we used with the lots of heart bundle. And then I added some red rhinestones. I also added some Wink of Stella to that heart as well. Super, super cute for an anniversary or Valentine's Day. And there are those cute little hearts again, just plain.
So I love how that turned out. So I hope you guys like that. That is our first treat box for today. You can't top the strawberry one. So thanks, Jeannie Stark. That's, those were great ideas. Okay, let's get to our second project today. This one begins with, it begins with a sh another sheet of the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper that you get in that combo for our celebra celebration. This is three and three quarter by eight and three quarter. And then I've already scored all the way down uh, at the one half inch mark on both sides. So half inch over here and then another half inch uh, over here. So I just go down one and then I turn it around and go down another one. So the next thing that you do is you're gonna take this and fold it in half. You don't need a score for this, but you just wanna fold that in half and give it a nice crease. And then we're gonna take the delightful tag topper punch and we are going to, you have the fold on this side. You're gonna put the open end inside of the punch. Just slip it right in there. You're gonna line it up side to side, center it as much as you can, and you wanna stick it all the way into the punch as far as you can get it in there, and then we'll punch that. All right, so this is what you have left. We're gonna take our snips and just trim off right where that tag starts on one side and also the same on the other side, like so. All right, next we're gonna open it up. This is super simple again, a really fast a really fast uh, project if you need to make a bunch of little holders, little treats for a whole event. You give it to office workers, you can give it to friends, neighbors. So I just folded those in and those will eventually go up, but we only need one side of those tabs. So we're gonna cut some of those away so pick one of the sides. I'm actually gonna look and see. I want, since the paper is kind of directional, you'll see that this, the raspberries are hanging right side up here and upside down here. So this will be my front. So I wanna make this side. We're gonna make a little, this is like the little wedge that we did on the other project. We're gonna do the same thing there and then we're gonna cut off the rest of this tab like so. And then we'll do the same on the other side. I'm just gonna flip it over and then cut that tab right off. All right, again, you're gonna wanna use a really strong adhesive like the Seal Plus. I did find that um, I tried to use the tear and tape and depending on what you fill the pouch with, it did tend to separate a little bit. I was kind of disappointed with that. So um, I'm not quite sure whether I haven't had the seal on as long as the other, so I don't know if that will come apart. I do know that if you want, um, if you're willing to let it set just a little bit, the liquid uh, multi-purpose glue is really good for that, but you do have to kind of hold it together. So you're just gonna fold these tabs in and fold this front flap up. So if you had liquid glue, you'd wanna just kind of sit here and hold it for maybe 30 seconds and you have a nice seal on that. So here we go, just a little pouch ready to go. You can fill this pouch with all kinds of things. It's, a per it's perfect for a gift card. It's just the perfect size for that. You can also uh, add in the Ghirardelli chocolates. So that's what I'm gonna put in there or anything that's flat, like maybe a Hershey uh, fun size bar, that type of thing, anything that's flat. I'm gonna use the flower for every season 
linen thread or linen ribbon to tie this up. I got a really long piece here. Didn't quite need it to be that long. So we'll just tie a, a knot and then I'm going to flip it upside down. I always tie bows better upside down for some reason. So we'll tie a little bow so that you can get this and get the candy out if you want. So we don't want to ruin the project just to get the candy out. That is for sure. All right, Let me get this a little bit more symmetrical. I am not the best at, at bow tying, as you can tell. That's why I do a lot of faux bows. There we go. All right, and we'll cut the ends off here. And then let's decorate the front. I already have a, a die cut. This is with the, let's see, what is it? Tasteful Labels dies, I believe. And we're gonna stamp a sweet strawberry sentiment in shaded spruce right in the center. This says, that was so sweet of you. What a fun thank you gift. All right, next, have a little scrap paper here and I'm going to stamp my raspberry in Poppy Parade. Actually, let me go this way. We're gonna do two of those and then we'll stamp. I think I'm gonna stamp off and then have a little bit lighter look. Whoops. And then we're gonna stamp a stem in Granny Apple Green. I'm just using the solid one. You could do the two-step stamping if you wanted to. So we'll have two of those. And then we'll cut those out with our snips. I wish we had a punch for this, but we don't. But it's all right, they're pretty easy to cut out. If you use your paper snips, you can really get in there and do a good job of getting close to the stem. So not too much to cut out. So if you're liking these treats, if you like treat boxes, I know we're used to doing cards, but if you like a little bit something different, I'd love to hear from you. And if you don't, I'd love to hear from you too. It's kind of fun to do something a little bit different, but also coordinating. And let me know, do you like to fussy cut? Sometimes it's relaxing, I think. And we'll do this one. Actually, this one I think I'm gonna leave the stem off. I should have just not stamped the stem. So we're just gonna cut that off. Or did I? Oh no. You know what I was going to do? I was going to leave the leaves, but not the stem. That's what I want to do. It's got to have some leaves on the top. We're just going to cut the stem part off. There we go. Okay. Let's get some dimensionals going and add this to our car, our project, our little treat holder. And that was so sweet of you. All right, this I'm gonna put right there. So 
so we might want to put just a little bit of seal or maybe a glue dot. Let's just add a glue dot real quick. I'll add that right there and then I'm going to add another one right next to it. just get a little bit of seal on the edge there. There we go. So there is our cute little treat pouch. That was so sweet of you. You know what we need? You know what we need. I need some bling. I have some rhinestones here. I'm going to color them with the Poppy Parade stamp and blends. Just use that bullet tip end of the fine point. A little bit of color on there and then we'll add that to our project. There we go. Perfect. I love it. So there is our treat holder. Remember you can put a gift card all kinds of fun things in there as long as they're pretty flat and let me show you I did two actually in the um, with the very delightful paper so here is another one in another pattern this time I used the Pacific Point and then the same raspberries basically and then I had for a previous event created some of these with the uh, with the paper from Celebration, the, what are the, what's it called? I'm totally drawing a blank. Now I have to look it up. It's called Flower and Field Designer Series Paper. I don't know, I don't know why I couldn't remember that. But anyway, I have three of these and I'm using the Punch Party stamp set. That's the stamp set that you can get with a $300 order, either a workshop or an individual order. So I, this one has Misty Moonlight. Um, I use the Heart Duet Punches uh, to punch everything out. This little guy right here is from the lot, uh, I think Mini Hearts Dies, and then some Just Jade uh, ribbon. And on the inside I used, you can't really see what it is, but I used those little, there's brand new Thin Peppermint Patties. Thin peppermint patties, the York peppermint patties, I have to just show you. Did you know, do you like York peppermint patties? They're so yummy, but the thin ones actually fit really nicely in there. You know, now that I think about it, you could do an actual slider um, with this. We've done sliders many times before. York peppermint patty thins. Perfect. So let me show you just an idea. If you cut the ribbon really long, I should have thought of this before, but if you cut it really long <clears throat> and then push your treat down on top of your ribbon, so you'd have to have a longer ribbon than this, and then you can, actually you wouldn't really, you could just tie this in a knot. This is on the fly because I just thought of this. Sometimes you just have an idea. But this is just like the little sliders that we make. So then you just pull up and you pull the, the candy up as you pull so you don't have to untie it at all. So that is kind of a fun thing too. I should have known how to do that before. It just hit me. So push that down. It'd be better if it was just one piece of candy. But anyway, you get the idea. Then you pull this up see it flip together. If it was the Ghirardelli chocolate, it would go in there. But anyway, that's that's kind of fun, a little slider. I'll talk about it more on my blog. All right, and then the other ones that I made, I had um, Just Jade and Granny Apple Green and the Just Jade ribbon. Pool party for the butterfly. I think this is the seaside spray for that butterfly. And then this one I used black, flir flirty flamingo, and the uh, bumblebee ribbon, bumblebee butterfly. Really, really cute. I love those. Those are so fun. Little pouches and 
just a fun way to dress up a gift card as well. You could do the slider with a gift card. That would work perfectly. All right, hope you guys like that idea. So cool. Too cool. All right, I have one more project for you today. <clears throat> this one starts with the Love You Always treat boxes. Have you seen these in the mini catalog? So you get 10 in a package and they're blank so you can stamp on them and decorate them any way you want to. Again, we have this one which is a slider box. And then I wanted to show you how to fold this because it's a little bit, um, it was a little bit confusing when I first saw it because it wasn't symmetrical. And I thought, well, how does this box come together? So let me show you. First, we're gonna fold on all of the score lines. And then the little tabs, we're gonna fold in the opposite direction. Okay. So let me show you, the, the cool part is this all goes together with no adhesive and it is a super sturdy box and it's really big actually. You can fit a lot in this. So this is how we're gonna start. We're gonna start by taking our little tabs and pulling them together to form the bottom of the box. Next, we're gonna take the side pieces and this will come up and around and then that little tab will be like a little foot in there sticking out on the bottom. And we'll do that same thing on this side. So you see how that just comes together? Hopefully the, the light is allowing you to see that. Next, we'll take the short side and do the same thing. This is gonna lock in the one side and it has that little foot in there as well. Okay, and this is the part that I wasn't understanding when I first got it, but it does that same thing. It's gonna come down around, and this whole bottom is going to click right in here. This little notch is gonna stick right in the bottom, like that. And then this is really sturdy, and it goes together really nicely, and uh, super nice size box. It's four by uh, one and a half by two, a little over two and a half, two and five eighths. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Really, really awesome box. Perfect for Valentine's, perfect for lots of different things, gift giving in any fashion. All right, let's start decorating. <clears throat> now I have lots of different measurements here and they're not very um, rounded to the, the nearest quarter. <laughs> They're a little bit crazy, so you'll have to bear with me. So the first thing we're going to do is the top, and the paper is all in a pretty good, with pretty good measurements. It's the matting that's a little bit different. So this one is three and three quarter by two and a quarter, or two and a half, and then we'll layer that onto three and seven eighths by two and five eighths. Again, we're using that Berry Blessings paper. I love that blueberry pattern so much. It's so pretty. Whoops. My seal dispenser got stuck <laughs> on the paper even. I'm having the most fun with adhesive today. I really am. All right, we'll add this to the top. And then we're gonna decorate all the different sides here. So on the two sides, you're gonna need two pieces that are three and three quarter by one and a quarter. And then you're going to add that to your three and seven eighths by one and three eighths, just jade. All right, and then we'll add that to the sides.
Okay, now we're gonna do the ends. The ends are two and a half by one and a quarter. Whoops, yeah, yes, yes. I didn't wanna do that on that pretty side, but that is the side I wanted. And then it will go on the two and five eighths by one and three eighths inch just jade. I'll have all of these measurements when I uh, talk about this project on my blog. That'll be in the next few days. So that'll be one side, and I use that contrasting checked paper on the back. All right, great. And then we have one more piece, just to dress it up a little bit, I actually have a little piece that we're gonna put on the inside of the bottom. This is three and three quarter by two and a half. And it would be really great if you wanted to add anything to the bottom, you could always add that before you completely assembled. It would be a lot easier than putting this in afterwards. In fact, I might even try to see if I can get this apart real quick. There we go. It'll go on a lot easier beforehand. Perfect. All right, here is our cute little box, and then we're gonna decorate. Oops, I don't know why I'm having trouble there. Okay, and we're gonna decorate that. I already have a st Stitch So Sweetly basic white die here. And I'm gonna stamp that with Pacific Point using a sentiment from the Berry Blessings stamp set. And I'm gonna put this clear over to the side. And then next I'm gonna add a coordinating image from Berry Blessings. So we'll start with I'm just gonna use, there's, it's a two-step stamp set, but I'm gonna use just the solid um, image, not the outline. And I'm gonna stamp it off once, I think. Let me see, is that how I did it? I think so. We're gonna add, let's see, let's go like so. Just fit that in there perfectly. And then our blueberries are gonna be in Pacific Point. Again, just the solid, we're gonna stamp off once and add that to the side here. Oh, I just love that. So, so pretty. All right, so let's add that with some dimensionals. Pop it up a little bit. So pretty. All right, a couple more things to dress it up. I have tied a little bow with the Just Jade Gingham ribbon that comes in the Flowers for Every Season ribbon combo pack. I'm just gonna put a glue dot on the back there and add that to the side. And then how about some real sparkle here with the blue adhesive back gems? Do you remember these from our holiday season our holiday seasonal catalog these are actually staying around and so i'm going to use some of those they really match very very well i love how they look so i'm going to add one up here and add a larger one down here and maybe right there all right there we go, isn't that so cute? You can decorate these boxes in so many ways depending on what you want to use your box for. And um, I think I have too big of a piece here is my problem. I didn't get it on, I didn't get it centered on the, the end. I'll have to cut that off. It's a little bit too big, do you see that? 
Anyway, <laughs> there you go. You can see how I cut it too, or I have it not centered. So it doesn't go that way. It doesn't slide that way. <laughs> but you can put so many fun things in here. Um, I just think that's really, really pretty. Um, I did a second version, of course, a too cool version. And I love this one as well. I used the Hydrangea Haven bundle. So I used the Hydrangea uh, Haven designer series paper on the outside and then use that same stitched so sweetly die cut, stamped one of the hydrangea uh, images in memento black and colored them in with coordinating stamp and blends markers. I used Highland Heather and a little bit of Purple Posy and then also Seaside Spray and Old Olive. And then I dressed it up with one of the uh, Ornate Garden Old Olive ribbons from that combo pack and then the new pastel pearls go with that suite and they look absolutely awesome with that. So that um, is that box. And then I put some different um, seaside spray paper on the inside. So I love how that turned out as well. All right, so those are two cool love you always treat boxes. I hope you guys had, will have fun with those. I, um, I think they're so good for so many different occasions. All right, everybody, those are our three projects today, and I hope that you have enjoyed them. I'll put them all out here again so you can see what they look like. And again, don't forget that we have our Berry Blessings five card kit is still available this week. It's now extended to February 10th. You can get that five card kit with any $35 order and uh, you just need to use that host code 3HUB23MD and you'll get that kit sent out to you on February 15th. I will mail those out. If you want the whole kit and caboodle with the 25 card tutorial, then you'll need to place a $100 order. That will allow you to select that Berry Blessings combo celebration item and that will get you that 25 card tutorial. Um, I know we're running a little bit over this uh, this time, but I wanted to show you just a couple of the different cards that I'm going to be featuring in that tutorial to give you a little sneak peek. So let me get these out of the way. If you can hang on for just a few more minutes, I'll give you a little, a little preview. So these are some swap cards that I received from my some of my demonstrator friends that I am including in the tutorial. So this is one here that I just love. Um, and let me tell you who that is from. That's from Amy Story. So that'll be part of it. This one is so, so cute. It's really simple and sweet. I love the white space. Very, very pretty. It got a little beat up in the mail, but that was from Monica Davis. Um, this one I totally love, again with those blueberries, and this is um, Susan Campfield. I love that fun opening. Here's another one, this is from Karen Titus. So all of these are gonna be in your project tutorial. Um, I have one, I have, actually have two that are gonna go together. Uh, they're very similar, so that will be one of the tutorials, and these were from Karen Titus and also Marsha Gay. And then a couple more here that I have already featured on my blog, but this will be as part of the tutorial as well. And these were from Lynn Feldkamp and Sarah Simon. And that has that fun opening as well. Hopefully you can see that okay with my, I have them in plastic right now. So those are just a few of the 20 additional projects that are going to be in my project tutorial. I hope that you uh, take advantage of that $100 order. You're gonna get the 25 project tutorial. You're gonna get the free class kit and that extra uh, celebration selection for the Berry Blessings. So you'll get a lot, a lot of value for that $100 order and that is uh, that offer is available through February 10th now. I have extended it one week. So, all right, that's all for today, you guys. I hope that you've really enjoyed this fun 
different uh, special Too Cool Stamping class presentation. All right, I will see you next week on Thursday. And until then, I hope you have a great, great week. Remember, you can find all the details about this class and uh, all the different projects, the measurements and everything else that you'll need on my Too Cool Stamping blog throughout this week. All right, I will see you then. Until then, this is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. Bye-bye.